Good afternoon and welcome back to day six of our Thy Kingdom Come Prayer Novena Reflections. This afternoon we're going to be thinking about what it means to be spiritually mature as we watch and wait and pray for the coming of God's Holy Spirit. And to do that we're going to read Psalm 46 verses 1 to 7. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This is what can be described as a rock-solid psalm, which reminds us of the spiritual parts of our lives. I'm on my way to heaven, the psalmist said. I shall not be moved. Just as those who sang the old song sang it with hope in the face of the cruel and inhumane oppression of slavery, so this psalmist is not afraid of the earth way. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could be that assured all the time? If you're a little like me and not that positive all the time, then don't panic because even in the Psalms we see that sometimes there is a more wobbly attitude towards God. So in Psalm 107, for example, you see the sailors at sea praise God for his wonders but then become terrified in this storm. In their peril, their courage melted away, it says. So the challenge that the Psalms present us with is the challenge of spiritual resilience, especially when it feels like the end of the world as we know it, and in the midst of political and economic turmoil, as this Psalm puts it. It's a psalm then for our times. Putting all our trust in God is the need of our times and something we need to be reminded of again and again. So it may be that your prayer today takes a slightly different form, asking God to give you the gift of faith that holds steady when everything else is falling apart. Pray for those who we yearn to know Christ for themselves. And pray too that you will dare to believe in a way that gives doubters, questioners and seekers confidence to search for your God, who is your ever-present help in times of trouble. Let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, and give me the gift of rock solid faith. May those we pray for today see my faith in you and be inspired to search for you and to find faith in you.